answer me, maybe he'll answer David Simmons. David Simmons, who is the Conservative spokesman for the Local Government Association. This is what he says, Mr Simmons. We know of schools that are literally falling down and still have to compete with brand new builds down the road. In other words, in areas where there are surplus places. Isn't the truth that while he's pouring millions of pounds into building new schools where there are already places, the only way he's going to meet his, the shortage in other areas is teaching kids in porter cabins and increasing class sizes? But what is so interesting is that he's taking his script from the trade unions who don't want, they don't like choice. They don't like new schools. They don't like free schools. They want to control everything. But what we know is one organisation they have got control of. We see it in black and white. They've taken control of the Labour Party. I am speaking for parents up and down this country. And let's have a debate about ethics. This is a Prime Minister who had dinners for donors in Downing Street. He gave a tax cut to his Christmas card list and he brought Andy Coulson into the heart of Downing Street. The idea, the idea that he's lecturing us about ethics takes double standards to a whole new level. The right on gentleman goes up and down the country speaking for Len McCluskey. Yeah. <laughs> no, wonder, no wonder the former Home Secretary calls them the party of the graveyard. The fact is, I've got it here. I've got it here. How, I've got the press release, Mr Speaker. How Unite plans to change the Labour Party. Look, I know you're paid to shout by Unite, but calm down a bit. This is what it says. We give millions of pounds to the party. The relationship has to change. We want a firmly class-based and left-wing general election campaign. That's what this week shows. Too weak to sack his health secretary. Too weak to stand up for free schools. Too weak to stand up to unite union. Too weak to run Labour. And certainly too weak to run the country.